Now, therefore, Romans 8 and 1, there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. No condemnation. You have to let the blood of Jesus Christ wash you. I heard somebody tell me this one time, and I thought, that is not right. They said, I know I'm forgiven, but I still have to pay. I know there are consequences to sin. And sometimes the consequences we have to live with. But we don't ever have to pay for our sin again. Because the blood of Jesus Christ did not put down a down payment against our sins and then you have monthly payments on the same sin every month. The blood of Jesus Christ has completely removed your sin and you're not paying for your sin anymore. It is finished. He paid it all and you are forgiven and you are cleansed and quit carrying the goats. So many of you are overloaded with goats. It's hard to get away from those goats and forgive yourself sometimes for the bad choices and the stupid things that you did. But God's will for you is not to carry those goats the rest of your life. There's a difference when Jesus comes. He lifts the shame. He lifts the condemnation. The Bible said the joy of the Lord is our strength. And you can't have real joy when you're overloaded with guilt and condemnation. Jesus said, he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. I'm, I, I don't know if y'all are really hearing what I'm saying this morning, but I believe down to my toes that I am totally free of the goats of the past. They have no power over you or over me. Say I'm free indeed. The Scripture said, whosoever is forgiven much, loves much. In other words, the devil doesn't want you to feel forgiven because he knows if you feel forgiven, you'll, ra you'll, you'll ratchet up your love for God. The more you understand, I really am forgiven, the more it makes you, whom, he who's forgiven much loves much. And so the enemy wants to put shame and guilt and condemnation to put you down because then you don't really feel in real connected and intimate in love with Jesus. Jesus. 